The first thing I have to say looking at you, you are just blinged out and I love it. Is this how you are in the kitchen? Yeah. See, I think this kind of beauty in the kitchen, we need more of it. Cooking with love is my mother's motto. Tannerine was the perfect opportunity to utilize her love of Palestinian cooking and at the same time spread our culture through food because it's such a universal thing. Everybody loves to eat. So she decided to open Tannerine 20 years ago. It has so many different cultures and it is so beautiful. No other neighborhood in the whole city like Beridge these days. My parents taught me how to cook. Did yours teach you how to cook? My mom taught me how to cook. My father taught me how to eat. People make a lot of mistakes about of that. Of course. Chefs have very twisted relationships with food. <laughs> you need one to teach you how to cook and the other to teach you how to eat. Exactly. It's about the spices and it's about this, which is called suma. I love suma. Right? and it tastes delicious. Oh my God. I mean, it's that lemony uh, taste with a little tart in it. It's really... It's like a candy. Um, this grows where we grew up. It's very traditional, so it matters. Wow. And healthy. And very easy to make. For recipe, you. Recipe, no, no, no. There is no secrets in recipes. It's your heart. It's how you cook. I can be standing next to you. We can be sharing the same recipe. Yours will taste different than mine, maybe better. <laughs> wow. Just a little snack. Oh, that's okay. beautiful. Okay, how do we do this, guys? I need guidance here. So this is metlube, which is our famous Palestinian dish. Layers of eggplant, cauliflower, lamb, almonds, and metlube literally means in Arabic upside down. So you're layering them in the pot and then you flip it over to serve. Oh my God, that's beautiful. The reason for the carrots is if it burns, we don't burn the metlube itself. So the carrots are an insurance policy. Something like that. There's this synergy between everything. I'm eating a little bit of that rice, I get the allspice, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and then I get this punch of vinegar from the salad and the textures. I love this mother-daughter team. When I opened the restaurant, I said, this is my mom's dream. It's all her food, all her recipes. My mom gets her cooking skills very much from my grandmother, so it's being passed down from one generation to another. Well, who are you gonna pass this on to? I hope to a daughter or a son. You do, huh? But I have two daughters. <laughs> Chef Rouia and her daughter are doing it right and keeping it old school in Brooklyn. Find out how other mom and pops, or in this case mom and daughters, are making their marks. Click the links and don't forget to subscribe.